Rush, it's the first time he's played in the first division. At 19, the youngest player on the field, coming in for the injured Kenny Dalglish. Johnson gave way to Ian Rush, who responded with his first senior goal for the club. Again, really only Ray Kennedy on the far post was offering any option. Sunes getting it back though from Whelan. Good turn from Dalglish, he's past Reinders and Rush. Darklish, the provider. And the final touch from Ian Rush. And here's Sooness, and he's got a chance to get McDermott going. And he's onside, and it's four against two. Look at this for outnumbering the opposition. Darklish plays it on, and there's the shot from Johnson. And Johnson, Rush was it. It seemed to go in off Rush. Four minutes gone, 3-0 to Liverpool. Douglas. Just got Adam Kennedy in. Rush in the middle, so is Whelan. And the goalkeeper struggling! And finally put in by Rush. Tunis, and again from Rush, that's beautifully done, and so is the finish. Well, the old one too, as they say, and another fine finish. Rush and Tunis linking so well, and Rush finishing with some aplomb by Nickel, Lee wanted it down the middle Dermott's going to get it more down the right Cummins is tearing back to get with him must make the cross now, he does, Ian Rush and that is a magnificent goal there's no answer to that 3-0, it was coming all the way McDermott into the space and he delivers the cross at the perfect moment and with perfect precision, and there is Ian Rush tearing in his sixth FA Cup goal in only seven ties. What uh, swirling wind there is. Looks to be favouring Bruce Scrubblar. Some length on that kick. Rush getting it back to Dalgleish, and there goes Rush again. Oh, good try! And a goal! Oh, yes! This new partnership has clicked into top gear. Three minutes after the kickoff. Ian Rush, the scorer. Doug Leash, the provider. Unbelievable. Grubbler, one ball. Straight up the park. Rush fights for it. It drops back. Doug Leash, an early first-time ball, and away goes Rush. And the slotted shot has Rimmer beaten. one nothing. Times, that switch criticised from within the game for the lack of application on the really big occasion and it was Whelan looking to feed off and then Rush well he can do nothing wrong there was hardly a chance really as Whelan carried the fight forward for Liverpool and aimed to play the 1-2 with Dalglish it didn't quite come off but Ian Rush sensed an opening and blazed away, it's past Cooper. McDermott, aware of Lee's position. Whelan's gone to the near post. He was beaten to it by George Burley. The determination coming from Sooness to keep Liverpool in the hunt. And put in by Ian Rush. The goal is given. On goes Neil. Whelan's on the far post. They're queuing up on the near side. And it's Rush who scores the third as Liverpool arrived in droves.
Souness. Dalglish. Good long ball as well for Lee. And a little ball forward for Rush, trying to get the turn. It could still fall for him. Oh, it did. Oh, Ian Rush took it so well. He got a rather lucky bounce. But then he capitalised his 22nd goal of the season, his 10th in 10 games, and the smiles tell it all. And that surely is going to wrap it up and send those supporters back to Merseyside happy tonight. Ian Rush makes it Leeds nil, Liverpool 2. to Rush who knocks it on for Dalgleish oh gives it back to Rush and he's not offside it's number five it's so easy the brilliance of Kenny Dalgleish it seemed that he would knock that ball out to the right but chose instead to pull it back to the left and Rush who was onside and the simplest of goals to take his total for the season now to 27 and indeed Ian Rush has now scored more goals this season himself than the entire City team. Touched by Johnston for Lee. Neil has gone outside him. And Nicol intercepts the fast meant for Dalglish. Flick now from Dalglish. Rush had anticipated it. And how he made it play. That was a superb goal. When Lee played it in, the little flick up. Rush was already on the move before the flick was played, and the volley was just perfection. Well, Hansen profited from Harper's mistake, and here's Sunes. Whelan's made a good run into the inside right position. It swung in towards Rush, and a very good ball too. Oh, that's superb finishing by Ian Rush, and that's goal number 29. through ball floated over the defense rush sized up the situation in an instant and hammered the ball into the roof of the net well phil thompson making a charge and not a bad one as well as rush goes through and this surely is a goal for liverpool With a fine finishing touch, but what a brilliant break by Phil Thompson. <laughs> Here's Sunes. And they wanted offside there, and Rush sprung the trap, gets round Stevens, and puts Liverpool in front. Rush using his pace to devastating effect, and the emergency goalkeeper had no chance. Sunes timing the pass, and it was Wayne Turner who was caught with Rush on his blind side. Rush onside and clear, into the back of the net. Kennedy. Dalglish. Kennedy. Oh, back off Davis and touched in by Ian Rush. 14 minutes gone, and Ian Rush, for whom Swansea was a lucky ground last season in the FA Cup, opens the scoring here in the league. Hodgson being marked by Stevenson, the ball play to Alan Kennedy, now Sunis. Low in again for Kennedy, that's dangerous, and pulled back for Rush to turn in, number two. And a very good ball by Douglas. 22 minutes gone. And it's now becoming 
very embarrassing for Swansea. King. Anson in so fast. And leads the charge. Rush to his left. Onside. Ian Rush. 1 0 Liverpool. Brilliant goal. Marvellously made by Alan Hansen. And put away by Ian Rush with the minimum of fuss. Alan Hansen intercepting back in his own half. Saw the chance to go forward. Superb play by the big defender. The ball laid into the path of Ian Rush. And as Southall came out, Rush put away his ninth goal of the season. Here's Hansen. Rush. Deflection has taken it in. Ian Rush will claim the goal, his second of the match. But it certainly came off the defender. And Liverpool have gone 2-0 up. A thread is what they need to just get their game together. And Liverpool won't let them have it. Dalglish. Look at that. Rush is through. This could be history here for Ian Rush if he scores. He's at the post. He might score now. He has. And it's the first hat-trick in a Merseyside derby since 1935. In a, in a league game, anyway. 71 minutes. Rush has made it four. King who slipped. And this is where Liverpool have made the game look so easy. They've come out of defence, got into their stride, and seem to get an extra man through. It's Ian Rush. Can he score his fourth? It looks as though he has. Yes. 5-0. Four for Rush. Five for Liverpool. And an awful day for Everton. Neil's clearance to Dalgleish. Beautiful turn. Oh, and on for Rush. What a perfect through ball. And what a brilliant goal. Ian Rush celebrates the goal, but Kenny Dalgleish, the creator supreme. He turned away from the defender and fed the perfect through ball. Ian Rush smacked home his 16th goal of the season. The Cops celebrate the scoreline. 22 minutes gone. Liverpool 1, Watford 0. Dalgleish and Rush do it again. Lawrence for Hodgson to run on to. It's away from Jones. Dalgleish, Rush. 4-2. And there you see just why Ian Rush is feared so much. A typical Liverpool move. The referee overrules his linesman. Gives Liverpool the throw. Dalgleish getting beyond Arnott. Still Dalgleish and Rush. The Liverpool strike force work the opening again. Action. Into Johnston. May run for Sunis. Hodgson. Rush is hovering inside the area and he's there. And Ian Rush. And that's Liverpool. They don't mind if they score in the first middle or the last. They'll get there in the end. And we were just into injury time when Ian Rush put the ball in the net for his 24th Liverpool goal of the season. Lee. Dropped off Hampton for Hodgson. Now Sunes. Stoke respond again in a disciplined fashion. Dalglish. And Rush. And that has put Stoke out of the FA Cup. And the match deserved a goal because until then. Here's Rush. Fields for handball, still Rush. It's there! And Liverpool have equalised, but Luton feel there was a handball. Now Fairclough. And Rush.
rush makes it 2-2 here. Souness with the pass to rush. And that's magnificently done. And this time it's Liverpool who start the half with a flourish. Really their trademark. In the essence that it came from an incisive pass from Souness. And the speed initially of Rush. And then the coolness. And then the hallmark of a great finishing. to rush and it's in at last and how curious after all the effort that two passes of such simplicity should produce a goal and a few minutes later rush finally made amends catching villa out with a snap shot and again encouragement for the third division side Robinson. He's got away from Whitehead. And Rush simply done. Robinson lost his marker, and from then on, there were problems ahead for Brentford. Souness. And here's Johnston. Brentford wanted offside. And it went in off Ian Rush. 4-1. Kennedy and Rush left unmarked and Liverpool's patient approach has been rewarded with a goal but when it came really unusual from their point of view because Alan Kennedy here delivered a cross with his right foot and Ian Rush certainly doesn't rate his heading ability, but timed this header to perfection. Benson. Dalglish. Again, trying to get it inside half. It does so this time as Nickel makes a good break. Played in there. Southall did well. Can Rush get in there? 1-0 to Liverpool. Ian Rush. The man who just can't stop scoring goals has got the vital first one in this derby game. Almost from the kickoff, Liverpool raced upfield and punished Fulham for a momentary lapse of concentration. A second's uncertainty in defence and the long leg of Ian Rush made it 1-1 and booked Fulham an awkward replay in this Milk Cup tie up at Liverpool. It took Liverpool 67 minutes to break through. Neil floated across from the right and Rush slipped the defence to head in the only goal, his tenth in six matches. An incessant barrage of noise from the Newcastle fans, away to our left. Here's Walton. Can the team respond? That's the big question. But responding for Liverpool is Johnston. Trying to get round his man, he did, and Rush, 2-0. It's so easy, Liverpool style. Short corner is taken. Souness. Johnston. Oh, and Robinson's in there, and Rush is in there, and in goes number four. Newcastle taken apart now. That's Gary Shaw. And here's Ian Rush, another chance for him, Williams couldn't get to him, and that's 1-1. After 15 seconds of the second half, here's Neil coming forward. And Liverpool have got a player over here in this attack, this is Souness. And Nicol is the man coming in for the header. And Rush was on the far side, oh what a tremendous shot. Well they had a player over and it was Ian Rush. And he has scored his second goal of the match, and just watch this. Steve Nicol got a flick, 
Ian Rush on the volley, left foot, far corner, brilliant goal. See it from a different angle. Nicol got up to flick it on, and Aston Villa had lost their bearings a bit in defence, but don't blame anybody for that. Just congratulate the man who has now scored 26 goals for his club this season. Here's Steve Nicol. Oh, and he's hovering again, there is Rush. Well, I say, the man just can't be stopped. It's a hat-trick. This time, Steve Nichols supplies the pass. Rush gets behind the defence, lobs the ball over goalkeeper Nigel Spink, and the goal machine produces another hat-trick. Johnston header, Rush! And if any man was going to break the deadlock, it had to be Ian Rush. And the Sheffield Wednesday supporters singing, we'll be back. A reference to their uh, ambitions for promotion. Not many people would doubt the uh, truth of that prediction. Here's Robinson, Rush. Done it again. Ian Rush with a superb goal in the 84th minute, and the Robinson Rush partnership creates another goal. Excellent. Liverpool, if anything, unsettled here by the early surge from Walsall. And this is where they're so dangerous on the counter attack. Rush to Sunis. Is Neil away to his right. Support now from Hodgson. There are three yellow shirts waiting in the area. Ross! Simply done. 13 minutes gone. And Ian Ross, the most prolific goal scorer in league football, has given Liverpool the lead. Robinson, touched down nicely into the path of Rush. Look at that pace again. And the shot, and the goal! <laughs> 32 this season. He's just this week signed a four-year contract. Joe Fagan said just before the start, what a good bit of business that was. And Ian Rush has proved it to perfection. Good play by Robinson leading up to this. But then it's all Ian Rush, and a devastating shot beyond Hucker into the net. Liverpool 1, Queen's Park Rangers 0. Johnston. Two Everton men are over there. Oh, and he's got past them both. The clip in towards Rush with a header. 1-0. Rush has done it again. What remarkable work, though, by Craig Johnston on that far side. Hemmed in, but somehow found a way through. Well, can Liverpool get somebody through from the back, I wonder? Because those further forward are finding it hard going. What can Rush do? Johnston. Whelan. And here is a man from the back, Kennedy. And Rush! The goal, Anfield Johnson. Back to Alan Kennedy, midway inside the Benfica half. Johnston with a sweet little back heel. He's released Al Gleeson into the corner on the left-hand side. Crossed in deep with the left foot. Rush with a header, 3-1. Ian Rush. Puts the final nail in Benfica's coffin. Curled in towards the far post. A little bit too far for Will in that time. Headed clear by Dragnia. Back in there by Sunis. Here's Rush inside the penalty area. Great chance for Ian Rush. Chip to the far post. He scored! Ian Rush with an absolutely vital goal for Liverpool, which puts them firmly on the way back to Rome. Ten minutes gone. And Ian Rush's 100th goal for Liverpool could well be the most crucial that he's ever scored. 
Skin Stanescu down the right hand side, drives in an early ball. Ronnie Whelan's got forward in support. Five yards outside the penalty area. Whelan holding it. Has Nickel behind him. He's gone on himself. Curls it in low. Ian Rush trying to make something of a mistake. Left footed shot. It's there. Ian Rush surely ties up Liverpool's place in the final. And Craig Johnston operating mainly on the right in this first half. Whelan's come this side as well now. And Neil and Lee. Walks made his run near post and it ran on. And now Ian Rush has equaled Roger Hunt's record. And it was a post effort as so many of them are. The move appeared to have broken down, then Walk made a near post run. And as the ball flew across, Rush was on hand to finish. So he has equaled Roger Hunt's total which has stood for 22 years. Kennedy's cross for Ian Rush to find the net for the 47th time this season. Look what happened in the second round. And that was Whelan. And Alvaro's clearance. And Lawrenson. And it didn't run. Walk Rush! He's back with a goal. Dalglish, Lee to Neil, and Dalglish, Johnston, and Bento coming a long way to punch, knocked back in by Neil, Whelan, Whelan shot, diverted into the back of the net, he's there again, Ian Rush, look at the puddles over there, it's almost impossible to get the ball to run but Lee made something of it to Johnston another good cross from him rushes up there Ronnie Whelan missed it Rush yes the hat-trick and Ian Rush has scored a hat-trick Sammy Lee and now Neil oh what a good ball there for Dalgleish and crossed in Stewart Mulby once again calming things Dane has been impressive tonight Waddock Oh Needed tackle by Chivers Oh dear He's onside and it's 2 nothing. Brilliant ball by the man who goes to join him, Steve Nichol. Kerry Williams is no stranger to the centre of the defence, although he's made his name as a fullback. Oh, and a dreadful mistake has put Dark Leach in from Gibson and Rush with the easiest goal he will ever score. And Colin Gibson holds his head. You can't take liberties like that with Dalglish and rush around. Now Whelan, five forward for Liverpool. And rush. And that's the goal that should ensure a place. The players would have lost their composure. Rush. Comes now for Rush. Clemens is out quickly. And Rush has put Liverpool ahead. Was rush, absolutely brilliant finishing. One stage it looked as if Graham Roberts was going to take him out. I'm a bit surprised Roberts didn't go through the tackle a little bit more stronger. But all credit to Rush, marvellous piece of finishing at the end. And there goes Rush. And as Clements comes out, 
I think it's Perryman on the line, desperately trying to keep it out. But it's a goal for Ian Rush and Liverpool in the lead. And Rush! A brilliant goal and a typical one by that ace marksman Ian Rush. And smiles, I suggest, to relieve as much pleasure for Liverpool. But what a beautiful turn on the ball there. And 1-0. The noise that's coming up is from the Liverpool fans as they continue to press forward. It's with Dalglish. And... Oh! And watch the mistake by the keeper. A devastating blow then for the second division team. It didn't really appear to be a great deal of danger. Walk. Now Nicole leaving it for Phil Neal. Dalglish, the touch for McDonald. Here he is again. It's a good ball. And played in nicely for Rush. And now for Dalglish. And now for Rush. You will not find a better goal than that. Now that was Liverpool at the best. Some superb one-touch passing. Um, the little ball at the end through the gap. Uh, with the Rush in one two. Brilliant. And a superb piece of finishing. He made it look dead easy at the end, didn't he? But to be perfectly honest, that is the mark of a master finisher. Superb stuff. Lifted it over the keeper. Look Brilliant. at that. Little flick out with the left foot. Douglas looking to get away, stumbled, got himself up, played a lovely ball in for Rush. He's hat trick. He is absolutely unbelievable. Once again, look the simplest of chances. McDonald, back then available. Whelan draws wide to the left. This was a bit square, didn't give him anything to run onto, but here's Rush, and that's a goal. The rush! Two goals in a minute. Both for Ian Rush. Well, look at the Stevens. Wheelands away, and here's Rush. It must be done. Misunderstanding among the Everton players, and Ian Rush makes it 2 0 to Liverpool. Just a quarter of an hour gone, and Ian Rush, through lethal in front of goal, is not going to miss that sort of opportunity. into the last quarter of an hour. Nickel. Walsh. Always looks capable of setting something up for Liverpool. Craig Johnson's cross. Rush! Yes! Johnston's cross, Walsh, who first started it, and look at this for a piece of finishing. Colby. Now, Lawrenson with a chance, and Rush possibly with a chance, and Liverpool run.
right on the stroke of half time have gone into the lead. His 19th of the season for Ian Rush. The renowned Liverpool resilience sees them through again, but it may be to only one point rather than the three that they really need. Judgment by Perryman and here's Whelan. Rushes through the middle, danger here, and Rush and a goal! They have done it! Kenny Dalglish thrilled to bits, just going into stoppage time. It wasn't until the second period of extra time that Liverpool turned on their class. Player manager Kenny Dalglish finding Rush, the Welsh international, who had time and space to pick his spot. And that has put Liverpool through to the semi-final. Getting to that part of the game, of course, where exhaustion starts to take over and the odds, crucial mistake, might well creep in. Mulby now trying to get beyond. Bond, and there was the mistake, and there was the goal by Rush. Oh, still going on. And another one by Rush. 2-0. That's it. Those Liverpool smiles that are saying in effect, there's no coming back from that. But Liverpool weren't to be denied the three points. Nickel centres and Ian Rush nips in for the winner. So Liverpool still on top, but Everton breathing down their neck. It ended Albion 1, Liverpool 2. Now Dalvish. A little flick for Johnston. Kept his feet well as Hagen went in. And now Whelan arriving late again. And this time it's in there. midfield making the real barrier Whelan has um, dropped back and Dalvish gets away with Rush going on the left on the right he's got Craig Johnson this is Rush yes the goal Rush strikes again not quite sure what Linick is doing to his potential transfer value here there have been stories in the paper about Barcelona forward by Beglin but I suppose we've got the best person to answer that on our panel here's Whelan Mulby and here's Rush onside in Rush goal the referee was knocked over in the excitement but Ian Rush has equalized for Liverpool 57 minutes, and Jan Mulvey put a little ball through here. They beat the offside trap. Rush went round Bobby Mims, and it was over the line without Johnson having to follow in. He took the keeper beautifully and finished with a lot of style. And here's Sheedy. Chipped in towards Lineker. Jim Beglin with the header. This is Whelan. That's Johnston. This is Rush. Mulby again. Oh, I say. His vision there was lovely. Whelan. And Dalgley. And Rush is on the far side. Is this three? It is! Ian Rush again. And surely now, the double is about to be won. Six minutes from the end, Mims deflated, 
Liverpool delighted. And Ronnie Whelan involved in the move. There were possibilities either way here. Dalgleish was free the other side, but Rush with that unerring finish. He says they were just pipped in the championship race as well by Liverpool. There's still plenty of football to be played. Dalgleish on the far side, played in for Rush! There's plenty of football to be played indeed, and Liverpool have saved themselves again. Beat. Now Rush is free. Bailey's challenging him. Here goes Rush. And Ian Rush scores for Liverpool. Four minutes gone, and the ace goal scorer is back in the groove again. Beardsley trying to create something out of very little. Now Rush turning away from Clark. Rush again. Can Rush score, and Ian Rush shows just how it's done. He's had two chances, really, and he's taken both of them. And what quality in his finishing. He said that you take a chance, if you push up against Liverpool and commit more people forward into the game, you've got a chance. Rush has just punished us, he's taken the ball, checked out of it, and hit the net with it. Probably his only second chance in the whole of the game. What a shame, because Nikasa were just coming back into the game. Check out a bit, have a little look, Rushy, and play it into the one spot the goalkeeper can't get. Right into the back of the net. Liverpool leading 3-2. West Ham giving it away again to Rush. What a brilliant shot! And that's 4-2, and that's vintage Ian Rush. And again, a mistake in that West Ham defence on the far side. And against Liverpool, you get punished so severely for every slight blemish. And across the face of that penalty area it came, and thumped home joyfully by Ian Rush. William. Mark. And Nicol in the clear. A run-in on the goal of Bobby Mims. Steve Nicol. And it hits the post. A 10-0 victory over Fulham at Anfield was Liverpool's biggest win in domestic competition. Liverpool are finding a lot of room in midfield, and that's a marvellous run from John Walk, found by McMahon. Rush is there, Rush has scored, and that could well mean the Screen Sport Super Cup for Liverpool. Well, that was a mowing challenge that fortunately didn't make contact from Ratcliffe, but it's left Rush in the clear against Bobby Mims, Ian Rush has scored again, he's no, making this competition his own benefit. Mulby for Rush, it's a brilliant pass, it's a hat-trick that will live long in the memory. Gage battling away, Whelan comes away with it though. Plenty of Liverpool players forward, that was a good ball played by Rush to McMahon. And Rush is on the break as well. That's played into the path of Ian Rush. And he never fails with that sort of chance. The arms go up again for the 14th time this season for Ian Rush. And Liverpool go two into the lead. A magnificent breakaway in the true Liverpool tradition. We're into time added on. It's the last fling really for Wimbledon now. And those cagey Liverpool Warriors look like getting the better of them. Rushes through the final decisive shot. And it's all up with Wimbledon now. Rush's second goal.
Liverpool spurts. Kenny Dalglish can sit down, a happy, contented, a relieved and smiling man. in football but what a good cross Nijweski was in trouble at that moment and up Rose Rush and that's 2-0 Liverpool and his 22nd of the season just look where Nijweski is now he's never going to reach the cross and Rush climbed so well here by Rush and Rush has done it again Lawrenson Rush celebrates and just when City looked that they might win the game Ian Rush it seems has taken it from them. Rush. Johnson coming behind. Walsh trying to hold it up for Rush. Came off Gary Stevens. Rush! Yes! It's the old, old story yet again. Walsh, rush, oh, goal! Typical Ian Rush. Liverpool supporters celebrate a smartly taken goal. The corner pull back. Paul Walsh with the header through. Rush turning and finding the corner. Johnston's corner. And the two strikers combining here. That was... Ian Rush in one simple movement, summed up perfectly. Applause 
for another strike by Ian Rush. It's his 200th for Liverpool. Seaman appeared not to see it. And the lead lasted for barely a minute. And the bounce seemed to beat the goalkeeper. to control it when he needed to do so first time. And there's no danger there. And he really missed a chance. And here's Rush. Well, oh, wouldn't you know it? In a matter of seconds forward at one end, fails to control the ball when the opportunity was there and at the other the name of the forward is Ian Rush and the result not unexpected Rush, Mulby that's a great ball this is Steve McMahon, O'Leary coming across, he's let Rush Such a familiar sight. Arsenal caught absolutely dead. The ball to McMahon. Look at O'Leary. He comes across here. Nobody is getting to rush. And all that started very early on when Arsenal had too many men caught forward. They didn't get back in midfield. The back four was exposed. And Rush, as ever, finds the finish. Just as Norwich were finding their momentum, Liverpool scored. McMahon, providing Rush with a chance, accepted this time. Gillespie staying up by the near post. Johnston got to it. Rush! In injury time! At the end of the first half. He's one nearer the record. That's a personal milestone. What's much, much more important for Liverpool in the context of the championship is that they've regained the lead. Ratcliffe has given it away to, of all people, Rush. Spackman. Liverpool can build again. Hamlet went outside Whelan and timed it beautifully. It's Rush. for Liverpool. Aldridge turning well into Rush and he's got it! Ian Rush has scored! And what a well work goal that was from Liverpool. Beautifully set up for him by John Aldridge. And there's your man, the main man, Ian Rush in the right place at the right time yet again. And there, regrettably, is the last we're going to see of Ian Rush uh, gracing England's soccer pitches for some time as he makes his way down the tunnel. What a great player he's been, a great servant for Liverpool.